Yatala lagi mahal, betu firio, ye tam tim piyo, do tu Ai, 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 ai. It's difficult to know for certain whether this man is praying, singing, or crying, or whether he is doing all three at the same time. What is certain, however, is that this deep musical expression of emotion typical of southern Spain is known in many parts of the world as flamenco. Flamenco is a priceless treasure that different cultures and civilizations, from the Greeks and Romans to Christian Jews and Muslims through dialogue and cultural fusion, have kindled over the centuries in the south of the Iberian Peninsula. To complete the picture, at the end of the 18th century, this original version of flamenco was further shaped by the dazzling personality of the gypsies. Since that time, for the people inhabiting the geographic triangle which lies between the mines of La Unión in Murcia, the pastures of Badajoz, and the marshes of southern Andalusia, flamenco has meant much more than just beautiful and breathtaking music and dance. For these millions of people, flamenco is nothing more and nothing less than the substance of their memories and the rhythm of their lives. In other words, it is the hallmark of their identity. Flamenco accompanies, consoles, and protects the people who take part in it throughout their life circumstances lullabies for putting children to sleep, ring around a rosy and other children's songs for playing on the swings, while at work, threshing songs, the pregones proclamation songs, songs for the forge and for the mine, when getting married, the alborea and the yeli, in loneliness and abandonment, the prison songs, the melancholic deblas and the tonas, at family festivities, the tangos, the alegrías and the lively bulerías, when praying, the fandangos of El Rocío and the fervent saeta prayers, and in pain and death, the comforting soleá and the cry of the seguirilla. Since the dawn of time, human beings have been condemned to earn a living through work. That is probably why, in all cultures, people have sung while they work, in order to make it more bearable. In a similar manner, flamenco created the martinetes, those rousing songs of the forge to accompany the rhythm of the hammer striking the anvil. The pregones are proclaiming songs called out by street sellers when hawking their wares. The trilla threshing songs are well suited to work in the field. 
The mining songs are true commentaries on the hard work down the mines of Levante and the many other styles which were erased from memory when the activities which justified their existence were closed down. The song in Soleá says much in one mouth and nothing in another. One flamenco verse foretells. Flamenco, unlike other music styles classified as folk music, depends essentially on the person who interprets it. If flamenco singers or dancers hope to achieve recognition, they must infuse their work with their own personality, even going as far as making their art their own personal creation. Today, the flamenco guitar, closely related to the classical guitar, is recognized as an instrument in its own right. Although it was originally merely an accompaniment to the singing, subsequent contributions by a long list of brilliant guitar players endowed it with a unique set of expressive resources, and today, the flamenco guitar regularly plays a starring role in concert halls all around the world. The electrifying picaos and the frenetic plectrum jumping of the alzapuas, accompanied by dramatic percussion notes, has made the sound of the flamenco guitar truly unique and unmistakable. All flamenco expression is deep and original. Most dances in the world strive to free the body from the force of gravity and achieve weightlessness. Other cultures, on the other hand, pound the floor with their feet, forgetting about flight. Flamenco dance expression is unique in that the dancers must have their feet on the ground and at the same time raise their arms weightlessly to reach for the sky and probably this ceaseless striving for freedom and beauty between the sky and the earth may well be the best metaphor for flamenco. As long as the chain of emotions which impels one generation to pass the flamenco flame on to the next, igniting their hearts, flamenco will continue to evolve and generate artists who will enrapture the world with their expressive energy and their sensitivity. After all, ever since its origins, flamenco has had unlimited ambitions. As the old gypsy patriarch once said, long live the flamenco gypsies of the world, wherever they are and whatever race they may be. <laughs> 